Hello guys, today I want to share a case about rapid forming process. So this model is a 2D axis symmetric model. First of all, let's see the results. The top part is the mode, tour mode, and this part is the rivet. The here is the work work piece. So as the model tool is moving down, the rivet is compressed to form the connection. Actually, this mesh is later to cause. Uh, so here I just uh, to show it how to do this model. So first of all, we need to create the three parts as we can see the model tool is this and we can give it a rigid constraint so here I added, added a reference point Okay, I can see this. I need to unlock it. So here is the sketch. And the size dimension. Now, uh, and we can see how the rivets is created. It's very simple. It's a two D sketch. Here is a arc. and the length. So after created the three parts, we need to create the material property. Here I just create two material property. So here is the steel. I give it density, elastic and the plastic property because it is because uh, it takes a dynamic explicit step so the density is necessary uh, here is the stress and strain curve we can here in the curve here it is true stress strain curve So after the material, I create two sections. It's all solid homogeneous property. This revert is the steel material. So we assign this section to it. And the tool and the work part, we give it the rigid section here and here. So in the assembling module we need to assemble it 
the three parts and to make them in the correct position and then here the translation and rotation tools in the step we created a dynamic explicit step and simulation time is about 0 0.5 seconds and here we use mass scaling to speed up the computation so the output is default then in the interaction module we need to create contact interaction now we create three pairs of contact as we can see the model tool and the robot and the second is the robot and the workpiece and the third one is the workpiece bottom of workpiece and the rabbit so the contact property we assign the friction coefficient 0 0.2 and here normal behavior is the default hard contact so all the three contact interaction we use the same interaction property contact property besides we need to set a rigid constraint to the model tool so here we choose the mode and the point we choose the reference point so the mode tool is treated as a rigid part in the load module we need to push the tools down so first of all we need to set a symmetric cons boundary condition and the second is the bottom surface of the rabbit it's fixed in the process and the workpiece the right surface the last one is the translation of the model tool it moves along the y direction about 0.006 meters because the the unit is meter here we use a new am amplitude curve and we can see what is the amplitude curve like here we can plot it as we can see it's just a ramp curve so after all this boundary condition we can mesh this part the mesh is a little 
across and the element is has one millimeter and the revert is also one millimeter and the element type is the x for r as well as the work part the x for r so um, after all of this we can we can make create a job and submit it because we used the mass scaling it can speed up the computation process so it takes little time to complete it and we can check the results and we can get the reference reaction re reaction force reaction force to six yeah, it is because it's in the minus direction and uh, we can get the absolute absolute value so we can see the reaction force we can add a viewport this one is So here we can see this complete process and how the reaction force change. This is the vermicelli stress, and we can also check the plastic equivalent plastic. If we need uh, refine the mesh to get a better result, so this is the forming of revolt, and it's a simple model. So if you guys are interested in Amakusei simulation, please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.